Hey y'all, it's Megan from Made for Mermaids and today I'm sewing a Veronica Teddy. In this video, I'm sewing the line cups with the straight back and cheeky bottom. If you want to see a video of me sewing the unlined cups with the thong back and faux corset, I will link it down below. The first step is going to be to prep your cups. So you need to cut two mirror images of your side cup in your main fabric, two mirror images of your center cup in your main fabric, and then two more side cups mirror images and two more center cups mirror images in your lining fabric. I'm using the same fabric for my lining and my main fabric. And you want to baste those together, or what I've done is I've just used some basting spray to hold together my main and lining because once you base them together you're going to be treating them as one so after you put those together you put them together wrong sides if yours has a wrong side and base along all the edges or again use a basting spray and then you are going to baste some pico onto your side cup along this curved edge like this. We're going to baste it. You're going to have pico in your cup seams and the panel seams. If you need a video on sewing pico elastic, I will link it down below. But you do want to put a little bit of tension on the pico while you're sewing. Not too much because it will gather this seam. So there it is basted. And now we're going to put our cups right sides together with that pico between. And you're going to match your notches and match the ends of your cup and you do need to ease those curves together and now we're going to stitch this with a quarter inch seam allowance so you actually have the two side cups, the pico, and then the two center cups here. Okay, you can grade this seam down if you want. Uh, this will definitely be more important if you're using a thicker fabric. And you would just trim the fabric behind that seam allowance. Now we're going to open our cup and you want to open it and you can use your iron with a pressing cloth to help you. Now we're going to stitch the pico down and you can choose to stitch it towards the center or toward the side cup. Um, it doesn't matter which way you sew it, it just you want to make sure that you're sewing every seam with the pico in the same direction. Let's see, I'm going to go towards the center cup. Okay. Now it's time to finish this center front edge again with our pico. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing with our other cup. Now both cups are complete and we're just going to set them aside for a few minutes. And you're going to take your center front and we're going to baste 
the pico on each side. Here and here. Now you have the pico basted and you're going to take the side front and we're going to match the notches and the edges and we're going to stitch these together with a quarter inch seam allowance on each side. Once you have it stitched, before you top stitch it, just double check your cut pieces and see which way you top stitch the pico. Because if you top stitched it facing the side panel, it wouldn't match your cup or my cup. I'm going to top stitch it with the pico facing the center. Now repeat on this side. Okay, now both are sewn and we are going to move on to the side seam. So this is the lower back piece. You're going to place it right sides together with that side front. And we're gonna stitch this together with a 3 8 inch seam allowance and we're gonna do the same thing with the other back, lower back piece. Now the lower side seams are sewn and we're just going to set this aside for a minute while we work on our cups. Now we're going to take your upper back piece and put it right sides together with your side cup, aligning the notches and the raw edges and we're going to stitch this together with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. and then we're going to press the seam towards the back and top stitch it. Now it's time to attach the upper portion to the lower portion. So what you're going to do is with the right sides together, you're going to line up your seams and your elastic. I always start with lining up the pico first and then move to the side seams. And then the edges of the back, the back center. And these should all match. If your seams got off a little or you cut it a little off because these fabrics are a little bit tricky to work with, just ease them together. And the center is going to go 
right here. Your centers are going to overlap just a little bit. You can use lots of pens or clips here. Okay, so that is all matched up. Now we're going to work on the other side. So again, start with the elastics. Side seam. Now at the center is this is a point here so this cup is this way and you're just going to overlap the elastics like this. And you're going to baste the seam first. And we're going to baste it just to make sure that all of the elastics and seams are lining up. This is a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Now that the seam is basted, you're just going to lift it up and make sure all your seams and pico are aligned and nothing got off. And then once you're happy, you can go ahead and stitch this seam again with 3 8 inch seam allowance. Once it's stitched, we are going to press the seam down towards the body. Sometimes you can just finger press this and then other times you're going to need to use your iron. Okay, once that seam is all down, you're going to take your underbust elastic and you're going to measure the seam and you want your elastic to be about an inch shorter. So there's the end. I'm going to bring it in about an inch. And trim. Now let's find the center of your elastic. And we're going to pin it right in the center, right on top of your seam that we've pressed down so it's on the body side and now you're going to pin the ends There's a seam, your elastic is going to go right on top of the seam, on the body side. Okay, now you can go ahead and your elastic is stretching just a little bit. You can pin it if you'd like. I like to at least get the centers or the center pinned so I have somewhere to stretch it from. The 
you can see I kind of just folded both in half. Doesn't have to be perfect to get an approximate. Okay. If your seam is not staying down, you can baste it or use some basting spray or a glue stick. But I just kind of sew and as I'm sewing, make sure the seam is down. My elastic is right on top, just like that. Now that that's sewn, it is time to do the back center seam. So you're going to put them right sides together, aligning the top, the seam, and all your raw edges. And we're going to stitch this back seam with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Now you can press the seam, this back seam, towards one side and top stitch. I would make sure to trim the elastic portion down and you can trim the entire seam if you want. My back center was a little bit off so I'm just trimming my upper back center. Okay, let me trim this elastic. Now you can press it to one side and top stitch all the way down. Now we need to finish this upper back and armhole. So if you want to pre-cut your Pico, you can cut it about the same size and then you will stretch to fit. I'm gonna go ahead and do it by feel. I am going to, on each side, leave a little bit of an overhang, so when I flip it, I can fold it behind and finish it nicely on the edge. trim the elastic and any seams that are over the pico to reduce the bulk okay. and I'm gonna flip it back over and top stitch. Now, on 
on the wrong side of the center front, you're going to put your lining wrong sides together, matching the notches and raw edges. And you can base this on, or I've used some basting spray on my lining piece. And you can finish the top edge of the liner if you want to. And now it's time to finish the leg line. So you want to make sure when you're stitching your pico on the leg that you're stretching along the booty curve and on the leg you on the front and on the very bottom you want it to be one-to-one -one, and then you want to stretch in between especially around this booty curve so that the elastic hugs and stays in place The leg line is finished, so let's sew the crotch seam. You're going to align your elastics, and there's also a center notch, and you will just ease those pieces into place. And we're going to sew with a 3 8 inch seam allowance and then trim the seam, press it towards the back, and top stitch. Okay, so that crotch seam is finished. And the final step is to sew on our straps. If you want to see a video on how to make the adjustable straps, I will leave it down below. So you're going to take one strap and you're going to put it directly on this seam. You're going to overlap it by about half of an inch. And you're going to sew one, two rows to hold it in place. Now make sure your strap isn't twisted and go to the back. And again, you're gonna overlap it by about half of an inch. And using the marking on your pattern piece, we'll pin the back strap and we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Again, on the back, you'll sew two rows of stitches to hold it in place. After you sew your straps, your Veronica Teddy is complete. If you make one, we would love to see them. Post it in our Facebook group or on Instagram at Made for Mermaids. 
as always if you have any questions you can leave them down below and i'll try to answer them see you next time bye